The fluid enters the pump in the suction inlet and passes through the low pressure mechanical seal. The fluid then enters the rotor, which is rotating within the pump casing. The fluid is accelerated through the rotor vanes, generating approximately half of the overall generated outlet pressure of the pump. The fluid at this point is rotating at the same velocity as the rotor. A stationary pitot tube is extended vertically from the centre of the rotating case, where its internal passage is curved to impact against the fluid flow rotating within the rotor. By this arrangement, the curved end of the internal passage develops both the centrifugal force pressure of the rotating fluid and the impacted velocity pressure of the fluid on the tube. The developed pressure forces the fluid down the internal passage of the pitot tube and out of the pump discharge thus producing smooth pulsation free flow. For a given diametrical size and speed, the rotor jet will generate about three to four times the head of a conventional centrifugal pump. The rotor jet has the ability to change pressure merely by adjusting the speed, the ability to change capacity by changing the pitot tube size and the ability to purge itself of air on startup. Owing to its hydraulic stability, the rotor jet can operate across the curve, easily adjusting to changing capacity demands.